distance of just about 15, 16 miles per hour by the time that the vehicle touches down and splashes down uh, into the ocean. Exactly right. You know, you mentioned these beautiful visual confirmations that we're getting. You know, an important aspect of, of today's specific splashdown is that it's occurring at, a, at night. Dragon 800. Copy, 800 meters. And working their way towards the vehicle are the SpaceX and Axiom support teams that will be present uh, for the next phase of, of our splashdown coverage today. Um, at this point, we'll be waiting for, uh, for confirmation of, of the crew's um, safe landing, and then we'll move into the phases of, the, of this mission, which are really, let's recover the vehicle, let's recover the crew, let's make our assessments, and at that point, we'll be covering. And with that call from CORE to, uh, Peggy Whit to Commander Peggy Whitson, you can see now the, the, the fast boat making, uh, the two fast boats, rather, making an approach to the dragon that you see in the middle of your screen with that flashing green beacon. Now, as we mentioned, Axiom Space's chief medical officer is on the main recovery ship, Shannon, and is ready to put eyes on this crew for the first time since they departed quarantine together. Uh, and our medical teams will be with them every step of the way home. We're now looking at some additional views that we're getting in of the fast boats making their contact with the Dragon spacecraft. And we should be seeing a crew member 